Hello, this is Rick DeWitt with Axiom to talk to you today about Translation Manager, an Axiom program that simplifies the task of translating files between AutoCAD and MicroStation. To start with, we're going to do a little demonstration of translating this file, which contains a border and the two sections as XREFs, from AutoCAD, as you can see here, to MicroStation. We're going to use Translation Manager to do this. We first set the mode from AutoCAD to MicroStation. We then select the four files in this case that we want to translate. This is the sheet and the three XREFs. I've dragged them into this dialog. And you can select any number of files that you may want to translate just that simply. You can drag them in from Windows Explorer. Or you can use the File Selection dialog to select as many files as you'd like. All right, the next step is to evaluate the files that you want to translate. In most translation projects, you may not be familiar with the files that you're receiving. There are many things like layers and levels. There's things like the fonts that are used for text, line styles and line types that may or may not be supported or that may need to change when you're going from AutoCAD to MicroStation. And pre-process in the evaluation step, we go through and we make a list of every used level, line type, etc. that a person might want to know about before they do the translation. So I'm going to hit process here and you can see the program quickly created the data files that you can now use to help configure this translation and get the results that you want. And that brings us to step two in, in any translation, which is to set up the translation and then do it. So in our configuration dialog box, we have two different modes. We have a wizard interface that walks you through each individual setting with a full description, and we have an expert interface that allows you to look at all the settings in each category like we have shown here. And you can switch back and forth between them. So if you're not familiar with translation, you'd like to know what each thing does, you can use the winter, wizard interface for those those areas. All right. Now there's a lot of settings here. We're not going to take time to go through them all. If you'd like to find out more about it, by all means contact Axiom and arrange for a more detailed demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And the next step is to translate the file. So we're going to go through taking all the settings that we've made, sending them to MicroStation, and we get four successful translations as listed here. I'm going to close this dialog and you can see that we've now generated the DGN file. So the next thing to do is to look at what we might want to do to modify and repair those files. It's not unusual in any translation that there are things that don't work exactly correct and Translation Manager has tools to repair those things. It's also quite possible that you need to make other modifications that you can't do in the translation process itself. And that's what post-process is all about. And we have tools to repair. We can drop and explode things. We can make modifications like change the color table. We can do many different things here. We can also compress and purge the files to get rid of unused levels things of that nature. And whenever we make modifications to files, we automatically create a backup as well. So I'm going to hit pro uh, this process button on the post process side, and we're going to go through and fix those files and make other changes. And you can see this process can be very fast on any number of files and get you the results that you want. So we're going to close that box. We're going to open MicroStation, and we're going to now take a look at our resulting translated file. Here's the DGN version. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. Open up the file and you can see right here that just like the original AutoCAD file, it's in good shape. So that's Translation Manager. To find out more about it, please contact Axiom and get a more detailed demonstration. Thank you.